and you are the resident advisor who was here Sunday night. Um, kind of describe what, what happened from, from what you saw, what, what you saw up there that night. Um, I was sitting in my room, and I noticed next door the smoke detector was going off. Um, I thought he was just smoking, uh, so I went over there. Luckily, I had the master key to get into his room. Um, opened the door to yell at him. Turns out his desk and a blanket on top of the desk was on fire. Um, so I tried to take it out with a fire extinguisher from down the hall. Uh, obviously, I lost. Um, so then, from there on, I was just went around, made sure everyone was off the floor. Uh, then came downstairs, and everyone else took care of it. Was it chaotic up there? And um, actually, I was very proud of my guys. They were very, uh, they helped me out. Uh, they got the hose out, which didn't work. Um, they were looking for fire extinguishers. Um, and even as I was working with the fire extinguisher, my guys had their heads poked out of the stairwell door, making sure I didn't pass out. So they were watching out for me. Very impressed with the way my guys reacted. And that's an all men's store, correct? Correct, yep. 43 guys. And were there still, I mean, there were people up there because obviously Sunday night is kind of early. Yep, everyone, uh, everyone was pretty much up there. There were a few people coming home from home still. But uh, yeah, and right at that same time that I went to go open the door, uh, there was there seemed to be like everyone came out of the rooms at the exact same time wondering what was going on. So it was very quick all together. Everyone's, everyone really got together real quick. Was it hard to see? I mean, with it being so much smoke up there. Um, at first, it wasn't anything. Um, when I opened the door, I, I just I said, oh, crap. Uh, but it wasn't that big yet. Um, after the first extinguish that I tried to do, it settled down a little bit. But then when I left the door and came back, uh, it got even bigger. And then after that, the smoke was taken up probably three quarters. So I had to, like, as I was going to leave the floor and do my round and leave the floor, I was in a crouched down position. It was all gray smoke. Um, so that's why you can see the charred walls up there. So, you, were you able to call 911 from your phone, or what, what did you do? Um, called 911 from the cell phone, and then uh, public safety on campus, 5555, and uh, campus safety actually picked up first. Um, so then I let them know what was going on, and then they were here pretty quick since they were already on campus. So. And then you made sure everyone got down those steps safely. Yeah. Everyone yep. says, I mean, that you just did everything. They said Michael <laughs> was just great up there. What, what do you say to all those people if they're they're watching from different parts of campus tonight because they've all had to get shifted around? Oh, they're they're very glad that what what happened happened. Um, we'll be having a reunion soon, and just you know, detoxing about the whole situation um, because everyone was involved. Um, I know I had the extinguisher, but everyone else was backing me up, making sure I was safe. Um, so they're they're all across campus. I'm still getting emails, messages from them, um, saying let's get together. So we had. This is the second time that our floor has been tried um, like this, and we had to come together. So we did really good, um, and the outcome is, is really good. When you say the second time, what's this? Something else? Uh, last semester, we had a resident on our floor uh, uh, die in a car accident in town. So, it, yep, this is, our, this is our second one and last one as a floor. So, have you you've been into your room then up there to see? I have not been into my room. That was my first time touching the door um, when I was up there today. Uh, they just released it to me 10 minutes ago. So I don't know what the condition of anything is in there. I I have no clue. <laughs> I mean, were you, were you scared? I mean, at first you didn't know you heard the smoke alarm going off. Or, I mean, was it gunning something like, wow, this could be really bad, or did you not think of that? Uh, at first it was like, it was nothing. It was just like, okay, fire, extinguisher, let's go. Um, after my first attempt, I realized it didn't help. I was like, okay, now it's serious. Uh, now we have an issue. Um, but at first, I didn't think anything of it. How big was, were the flames when you saw it? They were probably, like, the, when I entered the room, they were probably a good four or five feet high, um, just on that one blanket next to his bed. Um, and then when I came back the second time, it, the whole room was flames. So. Well, thanks to all the so many people were able to get out as quick as they did. Mm -hmm. um, were you trained for something like this for your... I was not trained. <laughs> no, no. This is all... I didn't know how to use a fire extinguisher. So that was all. I tried once. Noticed it didn't didn't take. So I was like, okay, there's something I have to do. Pull the pin. So it was all Trying. instinct and, yeah, trial and error. Now, these students who said they grabbed this hose and it didn't work, what, what is that hose that they're talking about? Um, there's a hose. I think since then it has been removed. Um, that the belief on campus is that we are to use the hose in case we need it. Um, since then, I've been told we're not supposed to use it. 
and really, I mean, I'm somewhat angry that the hose didn't work. But at the same time, if the hose did work, I would have been up there for how long trying to put it out myself when that's what I shouldn't have done. So I'm glad that the hose didn't work and that we were, I don't know who got the hose out. I remember turning around, like I was trying to fight the flames, I turned around and the hose was already laying on the ground. I was like, my guys have already kicked it in, like they're already, they're already working. So I don't, I don't know much about the hose. I just know we're not supposed to use it and I'm glad that it wasn't working. Now you're, are you a student here at ISU then still? Correct, I'm a senior. Okay, senior, what are you studying? Um, aerospace administration. Uh, so. okay. Well, we do appreciate you taking the time to do this. If you could just get a quick two shot of us talking real quick. Okay. Um, so were, were all the students that usually are living up there, were they there at the time? or? <sighs> Not all, probably about three quarters of the floor was there. I would say. Have on that floor? There's, let's count it, there's 20 rooms, 19, 20, 20. there's 42. One person per room? Uh, it's two people per room, and then one triple, and then my single. So, well, yep, there's. They found you a place then, obviously. Yep, I'm up north, the other side of campus. I'm a new, new staff, new room, starting over. <laughs> and everything just, it just smells like smoke up there, and uh -huh. soot all over everything after I, I'm starting to smell like uh, I'm <laughs> myself, just walking around this there. This is my fourth set of clothes for the day. Yep. <laughs> stink. Well, thank you so much for yep. doing this. You're welcome. If there's anything that we can do um, at any point, I want to give you my business card with the cell phone that we're on it. Okay. We're out of here, guys. Hello. Take care. Good luck to you. Hey, see ya. Right. Thanks for your help. Bye.